Good morning kids in Key Stage 2 and welcome to your tutorial video for how to complete the Active Kids Key Stage 2 Challenge uh, results table. You should have something that looks like this. I've emailed it to your parents if they can print it out they're brilliant. If not just get a ruler and a pencil and see if you can copy one out for yourself. So you can see we've got lots of columns with titles along the top and then the first one is an example that I'm going to show you in this video and how to fill it out. So you don't need to write anything today. All you need is to watch and listen carefully and you need one of these sheets ready so, and, uh, so you can follow it as we're going along. The name of the challenge I'm going to be doing in my example today is called the Squat Challenge. So on my sheet, I've got a blank one which you will have to use tomorrow, where it says challenge name and the first one, I'm going to write the Squat Challenge. You don't need to write anything because you've already got it written on yours in pen. Okay. So just here in my first square, I've written the squat challenge. I'm about to show you attempt one, and I'll record my score in the next square over. I've set myself up for attempt one of the squat challenge. I've got a nice big space here. I've got my results sheet, and I've got a pen ready to record my score as soon as I've finished. For the squat challenge, you need to try and do as many squats as you can without needing a rest. As soon as you stop and need a rest, that's your score, and you need to record it. It's quite early in the morning. I'm doing this deliberately before breakfast because I know I've got to do five attempts throughout the day. So I'm doing my first one before breakfast, then I can eat, I can have a rest and try my second attempt. So, first try, let's go. I've finished my first try. I got 16, so let me write it in. I've put it here just where it says attempt one next to the squat challenge. Again, you don't need to write anything because you've already got it in red on your sheet. It's just an example. So I'm gonna go eat some breakfast, have a rest, come back when my legs are ready for attempt number two. I'm all ready for attempt number two. It's about 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. I feel like I've got a bit of energy back in my legs and I'm going to try and beat 16. Okay. Okay. Only 12 scored that time, so I'm going to write that result down before I forget. Doesn't matter if you don't beat, you get a new high score every time. We're going to look at the average and then record your personal best, which I'll talk about later on. I'm going to have a rest, have a bit of lunch, wait for a while, and I'm going to have a go at number three. I'm ready for attempt number three now. I wasn't too happy with my last try of 12, so I'm really going to focus on trying to beat 16 and getting a new PB for the day. Okay, let's go. Okay, 17, new record. I'm gonna write that down again before I forget. I'm pleased with that, because I got a new PB just by one. So, 17, make sure you have a nice big rest in between each one. Maybe do some other work, like maths or English, whatever you've been set to do at home. Come back to this when you're feeling like you've got some energy you need to burn. It's about half past three in the afternoon. I'm ready for my fourth attempt at this example challenge. I can start to feel it in my legs now because I've already done this activity three times. That's why it's so important to give yourself a nice rest in between each one. Make sure you eat well, drink lots of water and rest in between each one. 17 is my PB. I'm going to try and beat it. Let's go. Ah, 17 again, not quite a new PB, but I'm pleased I managed to get the same score again. Record that down, only one more attempt to do today. So another rest, I might even have some dinner and try this one between dinner and bedtime. Or I might do it just before dinner. We'll see how the rest of the day goes. It's now the evening time. I'm ready for my fifth attempt at this example challenge. 
This is the last chance I'm going to get to try and get a high score for the day. 17 is the record. I'm determined I'm going to do it. I decided to do this after dinner because my legs weren't quite feeling like they had enough energy back in them. So I ate a nice healthy dinner, waited for about an hour to let my food go down, and now I feel like I'm ready to do it. So, let's go. Eighteen is my new record. Very happy with that one. I need to record that in before I forget. And then I'll talk through the rest of the squares that you've got to fill out each day. So each day you're not only required to write down the challenge name, but you also need to attempt it five times. You've got one there, two, three, four, and five. And you've got four more columns you need to fill out. The average. Some of you have already learned this, how to do it in math. Some of you won't have studied it yet. So I'll teach you now how to work out the average um, of your daily scores. What you need to do is you need to add 16, your first score, to your second score, to your third score, your fourth score, and your last score. Add them all up. If you need a calculator, that's fine. If you can do it just on a piece of paper, then you get extra brownie points. So 16, add 12, add 17, add 17, add 18. You've only got quite a small box, so make sure you write nice and small. Equals 80. And then you probably will need a calculator for this bit. 80, you need to divide that total score by the number of attempts you have. So usually if you had time to do all five attempts, you divide it by five. If you only did four attempts today, then divide it by four. If you only did one attempt, just divide it by one. So, 80 was my total score. I need to do 80 divided by five, because I had five attempts today, equals, work on my calculator, 16. You might get a strange number that's 16 point something, something, something. It's up to you if you just round it up or round it down to the nearest one. So 16 was my average score today, which I'm happy with. The next column is asking for a PB or a personal best. My personal best today was 18. That was my highest score. And I'll explain this in your future videos, but any day you do an, do an activity, if you wanna go back and try and score a new PB on an old challenge, you're very welcome to, and then you can just change your answer. As long as you do it fairly, then that's fine. The next column is asking you to think about which key skills and body parts did you use today. So for the squat challenge, I used my calves, I used my hamstrings, and I really, really used my quads, that's your thighs, and my glutes. So I've used lots of different muscles in my legs today. Self-assessment, that last column is asking you to have a think about how hard you tried today or how well you think you performed. I was pretty pleased with my results, but I feel like as it was the first one, I will probably get better throughout the week. And I am gonna give myself eight out of 10 for that one. So that's my demonstration of how to fill out this sheet. I've only done you an example, which you've already got on your sheet written in red like this. You don't need to do anything for this video. However, the next video, so your first challenge is available now you need to go and find that on my YouTube channel and then that will explain what you need to do for your first challenge. Okay, good luck and have fun.